Welcome to Miss Michigan here. Thank you for checking in to another year of my annual New Year's vlog video that I do. I think I'd stop one year, but hey, did it last year, gonna do it this year. So I don't usually uh, try to make like a plan for these, so I might ramble, but I have a general idea of what I wanna talk about. First of all, it's the new year. And I brought in this new year with the fam in particular. Um, it's gonna be in portrait, but here's a little bit of snippet. Outside of that, I really just, I have been kind of lazy the past few weeks and I blame the weather because it got cold and when it get cold, your girl stop. Like I, I still did like some stuff here and there, but I don't really like cold weather and I'm in the South. So I know people up North was a lot colder than I was and, and this only reaffirms that I should never move up North because I'll probably do nothing as soon as it drops below a certain temperature. I'm just like, I'm out. But um, last year was, well, I guess I should do the channel last. That's like the big thing for me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's the big thing for me. Um, overall, I guess last year, the biggest change was probably uh, I quit my job or um, this is the first time I've actually, well, no, it's the second time I quit a job. But this was the first time I quit a job because the job was driving me insane. So I used to work as a teacher um, I guess officially I quit at year's end, but you know, we get paid uh, because of our contract up until August. So technically I wasn't really out of work until uh, I guess September, which was the birthday month. And I went out on a trip with my mom. We went up to Tennessee. So I think we got a video about that. I don't know when it's coming out, but it's definitely going to be um, at some point soon, maybe in January, uh, end of January, in January, early February. So definitely be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, and then I started a new job pretty recently in December. Uh, so I guess, well, without work, September, October, four months almost, but I had to save a lot of money. So I was really worried about it. Um, and in that time I was, uh, kind of doing a lot more. I think I have a schedule now. I say this every year, but I think I have a schedule now that I'll be able to stick to that I'm really, uh, excited about. I think Monday, Tuesday, not Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll do three big videos and then Tuesday and Thursdays would be for the shorts because a lot of people like the shorts. Um, they're literally just <laughs> Twitch clips that I'm taking for my Twitch channel. So, uh, if you want to, and I, that's another thing I've changed too. I'm streaming a lot more on Twitch and just kind of taking those videos and editing with those. So I'm, I'm still trying to get into the flow of like, when do I jump in here? When do I cut out here? Cause there's not an intro and there's not an outro for those videos. But, um, just doing that just because, uh, dedicating time to edit, uh, like record a video is a little bit tougher and i think i can get a lot more done with the long recordings versus like my hour and 30 i usually do but i'm talking about channel <laughs> career change um so i work now I'm, I'm a maintenance dispatcher so i got plenty of um i want to say free time but i'm able to get done pretty quickly i might write back to editing so it's like i'm doing a little bit of extra to make money and then a little bit of working to do the channel so that's been like once i realized that i was like oh thank god plus i can do my schoolwork. i'm still in school this will technically be the start of my two years i think because i was doing like some prerequisite class before so still working through that i'm um, really excited to see what happens with that when i finish and um i guess i don't know if i, I do like relationship stuff but it's like nothing exciting i, I this year i would call it a lesson ship because it wasn't really a relationship and it wasn't really like anything serious, but it did help me realize that I think with anybody, I just want to be able to communicate a little better because, um, I don't know. I feel like I know I'm awkward and I don't mind that part. And I feel like I'm always like, kind of like suspicious of people. And it is good to be a, a little suspicious, I think, because not everybody has the best intentions. But I think I've been like overly suspicious. 
And so I want to like kind of work on like not treating people like, you know, like trying to cool it down on that front. And I think what it really helped me realize what that lesson ship, as I'm calling it, was that it was very reminiscent of a, like a friendship that I had like back in the day where I find that people who speak and that might not be true for everybody and this might be me being suspicious again but people that like speak like overly clearly on their intentions oftentimes don't have the means to follow through with them and so it was like uh like I want to be with you I want to take care of you all this all this all that but then your actions don't show that and I kind of told him from me like hey I'm a, I'm a big action person you can tell me and like that's fine but I'm not really gonna believe you until I see it. And maybe that was another thing too, but I've always kind of just been somebody's choice or like somebody's option, not choice. I've always been somebody's option. Like they wanna be in a relationship with me if something else doesn't work out or there's, or there's like stipulations that I wanna be in a relationship with you, but only if you do this action for me. I just wanna be in a relationship where I'm not somebody's option. Like, good for you that you have options. I'm not saying that everybody should commit to some like a stranger, but if you're in front of me and like, oh, I wanna be with you, and then like literally in front of me, you turn around to somebody and be like, but I don't mind getting it on with you. Like, that's, that's a little disrespectful. Like, we're no, we're not together, but I don't think you at least have the common decency to exercise your options not in front of someone. And I, I think I'm just at that point in my life where I can recognize when a relationship is kind of similar to another one and I don't want that. But all of that just to say, I feel like once you have people fighting over you, it's not really that you want to be with them. You just want them to be like, uh, kind of feel like that power, you know? Like, oh, I'm a, like, I'm such a hot shot to have people fighting over me. And that was like kind of the vibe that I got from it. And then I was like, maybe I'm reading it wrong, but the longer it went on, I was just like, nah, nah this is <laughs> this is kind of weird. I'm not I'm not down with that. But um, I just want to work on like being more open, like I said. And like a little, a little suspicion's healthy, but maybe I've just been ap applying too much. But uh, with the channel, a lot of things have like uh, kind of popped up this year. People, like I said, people really, really love the shorts, and I'm happy to keep doing them. Um, they take a lot less time to do them. I think the longest part of making a short is probably when I click through to my Twitch my Twitch bots and try to like find like a moment that I thought was funny or I thought was cool or interesting or funny. I think those are probably the longest parts of making the shorts. Um, it's even nicer when other people make them for me. Shout out to those other people. I really appreciate you guys. <sighs> I love when I go into uh, uh, my clips to make a short or see like uh, where I am at with a short since somebody's already like made some and I'm just like you got it I don't gotta do nothing <laughs> but for real thank you guys for doing that um and then the twist channel has really like the support has been awesome over there the support is awesome on YouTube too I think this year the biggest thing with, with me for the channel was just I've learned a lot of new editing stuff and I know I say this every year but every year I'm like I get to this point or like, well, there's nothing, I, I don't feel like I could learn something more. I feel like I learned something new to like spruce up my editing and I always do. So uh, I think just with learn, learning anything, you just kind of have to look for new stuff to to do within your, your medium. So uh, excited to have done that. Um, like I said, I learned new to shorts with editing, which wasn't really too hard. I could probably like do a little bit more, but we'll see when we get down that that path but i got um a bunch of support and i think the big question with the youtube channel and the twitch channel this year was because it kind of went through like those little fluctuations you know uh one minute it'd be kind of gaining subscribers and it'd be like going smoothly and then the next it would like kind of dip but then it wouldn't earn anything and then so i had to ask myself like if if this never like goes anywhere would I be satisfied with putting my time into it and I kind of like thought about that question for a while and then I realized the other day 
or when I had like a bunch of like my regulars coming to the Twitch channel, just like hanging out and talking. Or when I had like my, my friend or my sister, or my brother, we were kind of like, you know, just hanging out via the Twitch channel or the YouTube channel, whichever one that um, I think as long as I have just like a few people watching that like really enjoy the content that I mean, I'm fine if the, if the channel just never goes anywhere because uh, I have a few people that enjoy it. And as long as somebody is out there and enjoying it, I think, no, I, that's, that's good enough for me. But it's 2023. So, um, I don't really do New Year's resolutions because I feel like as soon as I say I'm gonna do something, then it's like, I don't know, I'm obligated to do it. But um, I think I just wanna keep pushing like I usually do and let's see where everything goes from there so with that being said i think i'll end it here thank you guys so much for checking into this little update <laughs> episode um what were you guys favorite part of the year uh i guess i didn't really give a favorite my favorite part of the year was i went on a cruise with my family to the bahamas and that was very fun and terrifying and also uh slightly motion sickening because the boat made me motion sick but i absolutely loved it it was my first time on a boat it was my first time getting to play in the ocean it was my first time getting to the sea the ocean like that um there's a lot of first um really enjoyed it. it was super fun i don't know if i have enough for a video but Maybe, maybe I'll look in the old archives and see what's, what's up in there. But that was my favorite part of the year. What was yours? Let me know in the comments below. And what are you looking forward to in 2023? I think my biggest thing I'm just looking forward to is there's a lot of good games that are coming out. I'm not getting my hopes up about that though because a lot of good games always get pushed back to the next year. So whatever comes out, that's what I'll be playing. <laughs> and if it don't come out, well, I wasn't really looking forward to it. But uh, I am looking forward to it. I just, you know, I don't, I'm not like overhyping myself just in case it does get delayed. But um, other than that, just excited to see what happens with this year. I got excited to see, um, you know, what's, what's going, what, what, what the, this year gonna bring. This year I have a lot less uh, kind of like cemented than I did in 2022. So it's a little bit up in the air. There's some interesting timelines that's playing out that uh you know i don't know about so there's always the fun part of that so let me know what your favorite year 2022 is and what you're looking forward to 2023 and with that with that <laughs> i'll be signing off hope you guys had a wonderful new year's and a wonderful uh, holiday of whatever you celebrated and I look forward to seeing not only where my year goes in my personal life but where my year goes with the channel as well and I hope that you guys will be there to see what happens too so peace bye guys happy new years and subscribe <laughs> Bye.